I have Erica Ballard here, healthy living expert, and this morning she's going to talk about three pillars of our health that don't get a lot of play. Erica, what are they? Because we usually think of sleep as number one, maybe. Yeah, we tend to think about stress and sleep and fitness and food, but there are other pillars that make us a healthy person. And the first is community, because we really are the sum of the five people that we surround ourselves with. So if you're looking to get healthy, it's really important to either be with people who are healthy or be around people who support you getting healthy. What's the second one? The second one is purpose. And when I say that, I don't mean you need to be the next Tesla or create the next Airbnb, but you do need to know why you get up in the morning because if you don't know that you're not gonna know why you should even spend an hour to get healthy so figuring out why you're here on this earth and what you're here to do is going to be really important to take care of this vessel i like that and what's the final pillar that we usually don't think about well, the final is spirituality, and this is based off of Dan Brown's research on blue zones, which are places where people live the longest. And what he found is a spiritual practice, be it Buddhism, Christianity, Judaism, whatever, and actually not only increases your ability to get healthy, but will increase your ability to stay healthy into 80, 90, even your 100s. I love it. Any final thoughts? Just make sure that when you're looking at health, you're not just looking at the regular pillars because you're a whole person, which means all of you has to be taken care of in order for you to be both happy and healthy. Erica, as always, thank you so much and good luck in your next chapter. I'm not the only one that's um, heading to a new city, but Erica's heading out to Denver. Thank you so much. This has been such a wonderful adventure and I so appreciate you letting me on.